Hey everybody, welcome back to Mint Out of the Box, the fastest growing action figure opening show here on YouTube. I am your host, the godfather of toys, the J-Bomb. I had an amazing day. I went to work. That part wasn't so amazing. But on the way home, I stopped by Target and they're having some big rap festival with a whole bunch of people that I never heard of. So that officially means I'm old and I probably shouldn't be playing with toys. But I am, so everybody wins. Happen to go in there and bam, what I find, wave two of the McFarlane Batman 1966 series. As you see, you got Batman and Joker here in their, uh, from the famous surfing episode. And my favorite bad guy, the, the Riddler, uh, portrayed here by Frank Gorshin. And um, he was always my favorite bad guy on the show, him and Mr. Freeze. I've always liked all the incarnations of the Riddler in the comic books and the cartoons. Um, I don't know. I, I just always dug him. So, um, like I said, these are hidden. It was a big surprise. I heard they're coming out. I was surprised to find them. I've actually found a whole lot of stuff the past couple weeks with Christmas going on. I figured with all the supply chain stuff and just all the delays and everything and it being Christmas that stuff would be not there, but I'm finding this stuff is always there. Oh, and I messed up with me as always. WrestleMania Mr. T and the greatest baseball giveaway ever, Randolph. But like I said, I, I really like these figures. I actually did the two, you know, y'all, if you've been a long time viewer, you've seen me do uh, uh, just a couple months ago, actually. I did the Batmobile and the first wave of figures. I like them. McFarlane, like I said, this might as well be uh, sponsored by him because I talk about his stuff. If I didn't do these today, I was going to do either a wrestling figure I just got or I was going to do some of the other McFarlane's because I got McFarlane's almost every single day. I actually got one in the mail today. One I didn't even know was 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 out. just happened to be scrolling through Amazon and found it. But I may well save that for another time. Um, so you're all here to see me open something. So I'm going to open up the Riddler since I only got... I did find another Joker. We went later on back to Target, a different Target. I found another Joker. Grab one for the belt doctor. Still going to have to look for a Batman, so that'll give me something to do. I'm going home from work tomorrow. Handy dandy bat knife. These ones come with the little uh, snap-on bang, pow, zap gimmicks like the other ones do. Did. I finally uh, put mine away that have been sitting here for months. Well, I don't think I did. I think producer staff did. it up I left little gimmicks inside there they help I have the I gotta be careful because last week I stabbed myself almost just did it again but if I stab myself it's okay because producer that's not just a producer she's also a trained nurse so I'll be okay and like I said the likeness the face is, is spot on like most McFarland stuff is it's got the classic green bodysuit, purple mask, there's the back. I mean, these are basic figures from a basic time, the 60s, 1966, the Batman series, which is only on for, I think, maybe one or two seasons. But I was born in 1974, and... I watched that TV show. It was on all during my childhood. It was on as far up to when Batman, the movie, 1989 came out. They were still showing rerun. And it's been on here and there. It's on uh, that Me TV every once in a while. The show has never gone away. It's iconic. I always have this thing I always like to talk about. When you, when you close your eyes and you think of Batman or you think of Superman. If you're born, if you're around my age, when you close your high, eyes and think about Batman, you think Adam West or maybe Michael Keaton. But I always pictured Adam West. Just like you close your eyes, you picture Superman. Our Superman was Christopher Reeve. So, like I said, <clears throat> the show was iconic. It lasted a long time. You know, it's a couple seasons, but it's carried on for 40 years now. More, more than that. So, I mean, like I said, I'm 47, and I watch that show religiously. 
Um, so, like I said, um, I'm going to keep this one short this week because um, I got a lot going on right now. I am here to tell you, next weekend, Ontario Comic Con, Mint Out of the Box will be there. I'm going to be there. The crazy girls you saw in my video last week are going to be there. Producer Steph is going to be there. We're actually going to get dressed up. We're going to walk around. We're going to have a good time. Uh, there's going to be some wrestlers sign autographs. There's going to be some celebrities sign autographs. We're going to go meet some people. Hopefully run into some of you fans out there. It's going to be a good time. We're really looking forward to going. So if you see us there, I'm going to be dressed like Polka Dot Man. Come up, say hi, take a picture, take a look at Steph, look at her humongous rack. It's going to be an amazing time. So I just got the cut sign from producer Steph. She didn't like that comment. And, and the bird. So... So like I said, we're going to be there, come up, say hi, um, take a pic, you know, ask questions about the show. But hey, you know what? If you, if you, if you want, you can even come to, come one of these days and come hang out here and sit on the show with us, see how the magic is made. So that's going to be it for this week. Wave two McFarlane, Batman 66 are out there on the shelves. Find them, add them to your collection. Other McFarland stuff is shipping from Amazon, so I assume it's in the stores. Target stuff is back ordered as always. Some things will never change. So continue to have a happy holiday season. We're at press time of this. We are 13 days away from Christmas. And four days away from my, my Christmas vacation. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing some live streaming. Next week's show is going to be all clips. It's going to be clips from our trip to Comic-Con, showing you what we saw, who we ran into. And we're taking a, a family trip to go see the new Spider-Man movie when the figures for that's hitting. So it's an exciting time here in, in the biz. So for all of us here at Mid-Dow the Box, thanks for stopping by. Wave two on the shelves now. Have a great night. See you next week.